Hi, my name is Kent. I'm the Creative Specialist on the Google Web Designer team, and I'd like to show how and when to use GWD. Google Web Designer, or GWD, is a free visual ad building tool for creating custom ads on Google. You'd use it anytime you have a custom design you can't make with the online templates. All these are examples of custom creatives and what can be built with GWD. Animation, effects, interaction, even games. When you're done designing, moving your creative onto the ad platform is as easy as selecting it from the Publish menu. Studio, DB360, CM360, and Ads Creative Studio. Ad environments like Google Ads and AdMob are also supported with the custom upload option on those sites. You can build responsive ads, dynamic ads, and all these ad types. GWD is free to download, easy to learn with 100 training videos available, and supported on our community forum. Let me show an example of when I'd use GWD. If I want to make a simple banner ad in DB360, I'd start with a template from the format gallery and edit these fields with my text and images, resulting in a design like this. But if I wanted to make my logo bigger or change the design of this long skinny ad, I can't because there's no custom editing. That's when you'd use GWD. I'd create a new responsive file and now I control everything. Here's those two sizes with the design problems fixed. Then I'd publish to DB360, where I see my new design appearing in the Custom tab of the Format Gallery. The same for Google Ads. If I want to create an ad, I'd start with this button and choose Responsive Display Ad and upload my assets, or in this case of Dynamic Remarketing, I see my feed content automatically displayed and I see different ways my products might be shown. But I don't control the design. If I wanted to, then back in GWD, I can create virtually anything imaginable and preview to see 40 responsive sizes all animating at once with interaction in the case of dynamic remarketing and use my own products in the sample data when designing. Then I just publish this locally and back in Google Ads, click that same blue button but use the other option, Upload Display Ads, to load the custom GWD file I just created. And with Google Studio, it makes even more sense to use GWD because there is no visual editor to start with. There's a template database, but you've got to code everything by hand. Or use GWD where you can log into your Studio account, and then everything is drag and drop easy. Here I'm selecting items from my own custom feed schema, and then work on my design while seeing my actual dynamic content as sample data. Then again, I publish directly to Studio, enabling a two-way connection where I can make changes in Studio and GWD is notified, and my GWD changes can update the Studio Creative. And if you wanted to code by hand, you still can in GWD using CodeView, with the benefit of being able to visualize your code on stage when you want. One last demo showing how GWD integrates with Ads Creative Studio, or ACS. This time I've created a custom video ad, and I move it into ACS with this option, then in ACS, I find that video ad in my asset library and continue on the workflow. Because GWD is built by Google for advertising, it connects seamlessly with all Google ad platforms and environments. It supports so many ad types, AMP, expandable, video, and more. How all this fits together can be confusing, but GWD makes it easy by showing you only the options supported in each case, while the ad validator continuously shows how your creative checks against all these changing policies like file size in real time while you work. To get GWD, just download it for free, then check out the YouTube channel for dozens of how-to videos, reference our help docs for detailed descriptions of all the tools and functionality, and get direct support from the GWD community through our online help form monitored by the development team. In summary, Google Web Designer is the number one tool for building custom ads on Google platforms. Thanks for watching and happy designing!